has taken a major leap forward in defense, successfully conducting the first flight test of its long-range land attack cruise missile. Launched from the integrated test range in Chandipur, Odisha, this test highlights India's indigenous defense capabilities and reinforces its commitment to strengthening national security. Developed by DRDO's Aeronautical Development Establishment in Bengaluru, the LRLACM boasts state-of-the-art avionics, advanced navigation systems, and precision targeting, enabling it to perform complex maneuvers across varying altitudes and speeds of width accuracy. The successful launch of the LRLACM boosters India's missile arsenal, joining recent additions like the Agni-4 and nuclear-capable Agni Prime, which offer strikes ranges of 1,000 to 2,000 kilometers. These missiles are deployed under India's Strategic Forces Command, a critical component of the country's nuclear deterrent strategy. India's missile advancements were further demonstrated earlier this year with the successful test of the Prithvi-2 ballistic missile, designed for both tactical and strategic roles. Among India's recent achievements is the Agni-5, a ballistic missile equipped with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicle technology allowing a single missile to deliver multiple warheads across distinct targets. Under the mission code Divyastra, the Agni-5 was meticulously monitored by DRDO as its MIRVs re-entered the atmosphere, marking a new milestone in India's strategic arsenal. Prime Minister Narendra Modi commended this breakthrough as a significant enhancement to India's defence posture. Versatility is a defining feature of the LRLACM which can be deployed from both mobile ground launches and naval platforms using vertical launch modules. This dual capability strengthens India's defensive reach on land and at sea, essential in the context of evolving regional security dynamics. Bharat Dynamics Limited and Bharat Electronics Limited, key partners in the LRLACM project, collaborated closely with DRDO, showcasing India's commitment to self-reliance and growth in defense manufacturing. The LRLACM project received sanction from the Defence Acquisition Council and was launched as a mission mode project by the Ministry of Defence. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh congratulated the RDO, the armed forces and industry partners for their contributions to this advancement, while the RDO Chairman Dr. Samir V. Kamat hailed the success as a testament to India's dedication to indigenous innovation and robust defence capabilities. This launch underscores India's leadership in missile technology and is a significant step in fortifying national security. As India continues to develop and deploy advanced missile systems, the nation demonstrates its resilience and readiness in the face of emerging security challenges, underscoring its role as a stabilizing force in the region. Through innovation and strategic partnerships, India is not only defending its borders, but also enhancing its regional influence as a leader in advanced defense technologies. Jai.